Hi guys, how are you? This is Ivy Morales. I am your trainer for the day. And today we're gonna be sharing a very, very good topic. But before I go in details, I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. I know that there are many of you who are a brand new coach. Um, I know that there are many of you that have been here for four minutes, I have been around four minutes um, and may not know me, but those for those who don't know me, I joined Team Beachbody back in 2011 and I started doing uh, P90X because I was tired, sick, sick and tired of looking the same and feeling the same and being depressed about my body and I didn't like the way I looked and the insecurity was overwhelming and taking over me. So. I decided to, to do something about me. I decided to work out and get fit and get in the best shape of my life. And I actually did. I committed to a 90 day program with P90X and I got an amazing transformation. I was able to, to lose like 20 pounds. I wasn't really heavy, heavy, but I was, you know, out of shape. And um, I did it, I committed and it was, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And ever since then, since then, um, I decided to become a coach to help other people to do the same because a lot of people people were reaching out to me and I was very excited um, sharing with people about um, my transformation and everything that I did and, and, and the things that they could do too and, and that's the reason I, why I jumped in I said you know what there is something special here and um, I really want to do this I have um, a, a, I already had a background when it comes to the network marketing business and I told myself I will never ever do this kind of business and I even told my husband I said you know what this is this is it the last business the last network marketing business that we did I tell I told him I said do not don't you ever invite me don't you ever talk to me about being part of anything related to network marketing i don't like that i don't like to be selling i don't like to be um uh, telling people what to buy i don't want to deal with that i just don't want it so uh but yeah <laughs> here i am right i uh, I, d I started doing p 90 and, and i did not know that behind the entire beach body community there was an opportunity to be a coach and that's when I decided to become a coach and uh, here I am three and a half years later um, I, you know continue to work and, and thank God that um, this the, the topic that I'm going to talk to you today it actually really helped me last year to really grow as a person to really um, be a better person um, to, to gain more skills uh, when it comes to helping others and, and, I, and I decided to, to take the business uh, opportunity uh, serious and to really go in, go in, like go in 100%. Um, as soon as I saw that there was more than just working out, there was more than just eating healthy, that, they, that there was more than just exercising or, or, or drinking even Shakeology, um, I knew that I could do more. I knew that I could do better. But the only way that I could have done that, um, it was by implementing personal development. And that is the topic for today. Uh, personal development, the importance of personal development, which is vital behavior number three. Um, this is one of the vital behavior that we tend to overlook we tend to not pay attention and and we tend just to oh, I do it tomorrow I do it later and never get to it and then you you struggle then you complain then you have so many challenges coming up to you with the people that you're trying to help because you don't know what to t tell them you don't know what to do you don't know how to overcome objections you don't know how to overcome excuses or you don't know how to overcome obstacles so um, with the lack of personal development, it just makes the journey harder. And what happens is that when you don't up, when you don't apply at least ten minutes daily of personal development, then you start not believing in the in the in the opportunity that we have as coaches. 
So because you know people come to you with with um, wanting to join your 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 team and you start um, bringing new coaches and bringing new clients and it gets to the point that you know life happens. So when life happens, then we don't know how to how to react to it. We don't know what to do. But when we start implementing personal development, then you know how to overcome. Then you know how to how to encourage. Then you know how to push beyond any obstacle then you know how to push beyond anything that comes your way because your vision will be right there why because you're constantly adding more knowledge by reading books by listening to audiobooks by participating on the calls by learning from the other coaches from the top coaches uh, by learning from 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 our team leaders who have been doing this for a while and what a better example to follow them, to really um, listen to what they have to say and to apply the tips and the knowledge that they have. The more knowledge that we have, the better skill, the better, the better skills we, we get, the better things we start to um, doing. And, and um, I know that you, you're doing great with your workout, you're getting in the best shape of your life, you are drinking your psychology, you are participating in your groups, you are participating on your challenge groups, but guess what? At the end of the day, you don't do personal development. And then what happens? Frustration comes, and then you don't want to do this. That's what happens. So then you excited sharing the opportunity, but then you don't know how to come back to the people to invite them to use the steps, to know how to talk to them, to know how to influence people. And one of the things that I want you to keep in mind too, that your income will follow your personal growth. The level of personal development that you have, that's exactly how your bank account will look like. Yes. Um, late last year, uh, I, had a, I had a big goal, and, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. I did not, I, I had this huge goal that I wanted to become an elite 2014 coach. And everything started so right at the beginning of the year. But then towards the middle of the year, things started going kind of out of place, out of what the business wasn't working the way that I was expecting the team you know things were happening life was happening things that were out of my control and situations that could easily discourage me to say you know what I'm just gonna put this aside and I'm not gonna do this but during that time guys the only thing that I had available to me it was to pick a book and read it. And one of the books that really, really helped me a lot, it was The Compound Effect, to do one thing over and over, over and over, because eventually you're gonna get results. Even though if you see that the whole world is coming down on you, and you don't see things happening, but you continue to press, to push, because you're doing this, because you're reading, because you're growing, because you're learning from the experts, from the people that have been in the field for such a long time. From them, we learn from their mistakes. And because if it wouldn't be for this wonderful book here, and I know that we always talk about this book, I don't know what, what, what we have done. And then the half of the year was gone and then I had six months, six more months ahead of me. And I needed to do something to go back up, to get better. And because of personal development, I was able to help my team. I was able to come together with my team and be able to implement this great book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I had to go back to this book as well so that I can learn and I can continue to grow growth and I can continue to understand how to influence other people to be better, to become better. I had to become better in order to influence them. I had to be better in order to 
to help them be better. And at the end of the year, <laughs> the last two months of the year, I pushed myself so hard and I was so consistent doing, doing this, the compound effect, and implementing every step each and every single day and getting better and inf uh, influencing the team, influencing new people coming on board so that I can hit this goal that I wanted to hit. And it was not, not that I couldn't um, become a, a, an elite coach, which I will be this year, but I was able to become a 2014 premier coach. I did not do that on my own. I did it with my team. I did it because my personal development went higher. And as a result, everything else followed. Everything else followed. And I was able to see the, the possibility of continue working towards my vision, towards my team, um, towards the, thing, the dreams that we want. And I know that um, Saudi posted this um, the beginning of, of, of last week, the first week of the training. And one of the things that I encourage you guys is to um, go back to this, go back to this and, and rate yourself. And I hope you did, I hope you really did. And you did your homework. I know that this was part of last week, but I, I printed it out and I wanted to have it out because I really wanted to rate myself. And I even gave, gave this to my team and I told them, I want you to, to do this for me. I want you to do me a favor and I want, you to, I want you to rate me as your leader. I already did. I already rate myself and in the, in the areas that I know that I rate the lowest, I know that I have to go back and find ways and find tools to help me be better and find books that can help me be more influential, that can help me be more focused, more, more dedicated, more positive, to become more coachable. So I ask my team to help me to do this because sometimes you see yourself and you probably can give yourself a 10 and five, a seven or even a one, but how are people perceiving you? How is your team perce perceiving you? And what can you do to become better? And as you identify those areas where you need to become better, that's the type of personal development that you have to do so that you can become a true leader, a leader that will be so influential that people that comes close to you wanna be like you, wanna do the things that you do. So my call to action for you today is to post below what books are you reading and what are you learning from that book? How are you applying what you're learning from your reading? And if you do not have a book, if you don't have nothing right now on your hands, I encourage you to go and get yourself this book, The Compound Effect. You can put it on your phone, you can buy it on, on, on iTunes and put it on your phone or even just buy the book. Because if you, read, if you read from your phone, then you start getting notifications and you're gonna get distracted. So just do this, just buy it, have it, and read it and highlight it and go back to it and write on it. Whatever the message you get for, for the day, just write it. Just write on it and apply it. Do that. And then if you still having a hard time influencing others, don't know how to um, talk to people, how to become be relatable, just buy this book. Just buy it. How to influence uh, friends, uh, how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnage. So do it. I know you. A lot of you maybe have it, but if you don't, just, just, just. I recommend those two, just that you have something that will help you to, to, to get, to, to, to get um, aligned where you want, where you're heading. So post below what you have, what you're reading, what you're learning. I can wait to hear from you. And another thing is to keep in mind, guys, that if you don't have the time to sit down and read for 10 minutes, there is no excuses because you can listen to podcasts, you can um, buy audiobooks, invest in that. That's your investment. This right here is an investment that has 
that has returned so much dividends back to my bank account that's what this has done this is like what less than ten dollars and this one is also um less than ten dollars that has multiplied by thousands of dollars for the past couple of years and i know that if you start doing this you're gonna see a difference you're gonna see a difference in your life do not neglect personal development as you grow you get better your skills your people's skills becomes better you become more um, attractive to people you become more re re relatable and you become more compassionate too more compassionate and more positive about life you start dreaming you start believing in yourself you start doing more things that will help you to get where you want to be and fulfill your dreams and fulfill everything that you desire everything that you have in your heart so go out there guys people need you people want you and I know that you can do it I know that you can do it so do not neglect personal development become more influential um, do it so your team will follow you what you do your team will follow so I leave you with this I hope that this brings some light to you and I can't wait to see your comments I can't wait to see your questions and if you're still lost and you don't know what to do reach out to your upline to your diamond coach or your star diamond coach and if, if it's not then just go up to one more person but reach out to people reach out to your leaders they're there for you we're here for you to help you all right so thank you god bless and have a wonderful day and let's kill it let's kill it let's push bye